Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo Gaming Legion 5. The model is a 15 ECH6. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove the heatsink and replace the CPU, clean up the LAN system and service your laptop. And just remember by servicing your laptop, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything is going to be left the way that you had it before. So it's pretty much just maintenance. And you can use any sort of thermal paste. People are like, oh, why don't you use this? Why don't you use that? I always use Thermal Grizzly or Arctic MX6 or MX4. The reason is I don't use PTM ones, but they are really expensive and really hard to get your hands on a genuine original one. And the thing is like a thermal paste for Thermal Grizzly Extreme or any Thermal Grizzly paste or even Arctic MX6 will last you two years minimum. There's no term, even with the thermal pumping and everything like that. It will last with temperatures perfectly for two years. And within two years, you have to open it and service it again to clean up the vents and everything like that. So you have to reapply it anyway. So I don't see the logic to use any other expensive thermal paste like an PTM pads. Anyway, so I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can service your laptop. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You want to flip it upside down. Every tool that I use, everything will be linked in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. I'm going to be using a for opening tool, a screwdriver set. I fix a screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. I purchased myself this basic tool set. You're going to use a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will give you opening tools and stuff like that. But if not, grab the basic set. For the opening tools, I'll be using a simple guitar pick. A guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Unlike these opening tools that are really rigid edges, I, I can cut myself with this one. It's really sharp, but this one is really soft and will not damage anything. All right, so we're going to use this one. We're going to use an isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 98% plus. Don't use anything over under 98%. You need one sheet or two sheet of workshop towel. The reason for the workshop towel is that I don't say don't use microfiber is don't use microfiber towel and use workshop towel is because when you put alcohol on top of this one and you try to clean this component, the CPU, this will rip apart very easy and will not damage any other components on the board. Unlike microfiber towel that you put, try to clean, you can get tangled on the component tiny capacitors and you can rip them apart. So use this one. For the thermal paste, you can use MX4, MX6. Those are really good. Or go with a thermal grizzly extreme. All right, we did all this on hand, let's get into it. So first thing first, we're going to remove all the screws down here, starting from one screw in the back. So remove all the front screws that are the, the shortest screws, so you keep them in a different pile. You can't make a, this is a really short one, so you can keep them in the same pile because you know that the short one goes in the front. It's just a logic, so you don't have to worry about that. And the rest of the screws, they made the side, they were, they're all the same size. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. Yeah. And support me to make more videos, take requests, and answer questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed all this, you're going to grab the opening tool. And I'm going to put this one under here. You're going to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that in here. Stick it in there and then just twist it and you want to hear those click sounds. That's what you want to hear. You do all that all in the front end. Go to the corner. And in on the side back here, you want to go all the way here on the top portion and you want to pull it like this. In the back corner. There we go, like that. So you want to unhook these tiny clips that are in there. You want to do the same thing on both sides. This one is already loose enough. If yours is not, just stick it like that, and it will come out. So there is the bottom cover. You can take it outside, use a toothbrush to clean up the dust mesh. This one is pretty okay. So I'll put that to one side. And right away here, we can see the two dirty fans, the air vent. The air doesn't go through nicely because it is really clogged up. So if you can pay attention, 
how do you expect the airflow on this one? So we're gonna get into it. So yeah, first we're gonna disconnect the battery. To disconnect it, it's really hard to disconnect here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually remove the battery. It makes it much easier, less risk. And uh, first we're gonna switch to a Phillips number zero. We are gonna remove one screw right on the bottom here, one screw on the left. Keep it in a separate bar, one screw in the corner. And there should be one more. Oh, they have one more under this plate here. So we're gonna remove this screw in here for NVMe, one is screw in here, and one is screw right there. So I'll put all the screws in there. I'll put that one on top. So now I gotta remove the NVMe in here. So we're gonna remove the NVMe, one is screw on the back, and pull the NVMe in 45 degree angle, put the screw beside it, and now we can remove the screw for the battery right there. Now what we're gonna do, you wanna put the battery up, move it to the side so you have a little more room to play here. You can pull it, the, the cables are really, really tough, so you can pull it up back evenly. Just make sure it comes out evenly. Help it with your finger so it doesn't go sideways. It's a really, really tough cable, so don't worry about that. Pull the jack back and put the battery to one side. All right, now we can easily work on the rest. We're gonna remove one screw. This screw is pretty loose, almost falling out. So remove one screw right there. One screw right in here. These are for the fan. And same thing on the other side. Make sure you tighten up the rest of the screws because they do come loose and they go over the motherboard and they'll create a short. And then there you have it. A big problem. All right, once we remove these ones here, we need to remove this heat plate shield for the NVMe on the expansion board. Remove three screws on here. Uh, put them in here. Now we're gonna disconnect the fan connector in here. We're gonna pull close to the fan to the jack. Don't pull on the cable. Just work it around so you can pull this one. In on this side, we're gonna use a curved tweezers. Or you can use your nails, fingers, but I can't reach in there. So I'm gonna put it on the side, I'm gonna slide it back. So that way I don't damage the cables. All right, once we have that one, all those ready, I'm gonna tighten up this one, make sure it's tight enough. Every other screw that I see in here, this one is pretty loose too. Go ahead and tighten up every screw that you see on the motherboard, but they do come loose. And I see so many clients that they screw come loose and they go creating short everywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and remove one, two, three on the CPU, one, two, and three on the GPU, it synced. So, Rotate this screw and um, they have a little C lock, they will not come out entirely, so you just pretty much have to rotate and then they become loosened up. There we have it. Once it's loosened up, I can grab the heat sink and bring it up and flip it over. There we have it. So, there we have the GPU, and the CPU is AMD, it's an AMD Ryzen 5 5600H. This is a GPU, I think this is a 3060 or 3070, I don't remember. But yeah, I can see this thermal paste has a thermal pumping and you can see pretty clearly the dry out part in there on the GPU over there. So it is really time to, that's why the temperature was going really up and they were using a, a PTM in here from the factory. So first we're gonna clean up the, oh, I can see right here. See those things jammed up in there, they're blocking the airway, we're gonna get into those. These are a 0.5 millimeter thermal pad, 0.5 millimeter thermal pads on all of them. So if you wanna replace the thermal pads, those are 0.5 millimeter. All right. First, let's go ahead and clean up in here, remove the thermal paste over here. So first thing first, we're gonna put a little alcohol in here. And we're gonna wipe over the CPU. And you see how this one gets ripped apart and the capacitors around the CPU doesn't get damaged. 
you just want to remove the thermal paste on top of the CPU crystal die. You don't want to remove everything on the corner because you can damage the component. Just as long as you clean up the thermal paste on top of the crystal die, that's what matters. That's what's the important part. There we go. I use a dry part to do a sec tiny pass. And I'm going to use this wet part to clean up the dust in here. There we go. Ooh, look at how dirty it is. This one is pretty loose here. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to rip this part. And now we're going to put this to one side. And we're going to work on the heat sink. So first thing first, let's put a little bit of the alcohol right on top of this one. Make sure it dries out. I'm going to grab a little plastic spatula. I'm going to break this really dried up. You can see the GPU, so much concentration of the heat. And this one, look what it did. It just pretty much toasted up the heat sink, which is really flat. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. That's what happens when you don't service it. The concentration of the heat in one place, it can damage the GPU or CPU because of the not maintain, doing your maintenance. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't have, you don't have to use that TPM, PTM, uh, pads and stuff like that. As long as you use a thermal paste, that's fine. We have done this for many clients for personal computers. After a few years, the temperature are still good. We just need a servicing. We're gonna flip it over. In here, we're gonna use a double zero Phillips. We're gonna remove tiny, tiny screws on the heat on the heatsink in here. One, two, three, four, five. So five is screw in here and five on the other side. So really tiny screws. Go ahead and remove them. What you wanna do, you wanna lift up. And there we go. Look at this. Holy. Uh, how do you expect not to clog up and stop working? So that's why you get all this burn mark because you don't remove the people clean up the fan, but they do not clean up the dock system. Just look at it. Anywhere as you look at it, it's horrible. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to use a toothbrush. I'm going to brush it off, clean it up and blow some air with a soft toothbrush, and I'll be back right after this. All right, now that I cleaned it up, look at the difference. The fan, the air system, everything is nicely opened up, ready to go. We're gonna grab the fan that we cleaned up, and we're gonna put it on top. I believe this one goes in here, and the other one goes in here. So that's a very important to open up the ventilation system and clean it up. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna put those tiny screws back on, five on each side. Don't tighten up too much because they you can damage the threads on the plastic. All right, there we go, nicely done. You wanna grab the laptop. And we're gonna bring it over, and we're gonna apply the thermal paste. I'm gonna be the thermal MX4, one nice drop on the CPU, and one big drop on the GPU. So there we go. And we're gonna bring down the, if you have replaced the thermal pads, you can replace them 0.5 millimeter, but these are still really good. They're not dried up. So we're gonna bring it down evenly. Make sure the cables stay out of the way. Once it's on top, we are going to switch back again to Phillips number one. And we, you can follow the number one, two, three, four, five, six, but as long as you cross screw them, you're fine. So I'm going to cross screw them to six, five, and I'm going to go two.
There we go. Now I'm going to put the screws for the fans. The cone one goes at the back. And the tiny gray ones, they go. These are Phillips number one. the board always make sure you put the fans right away because people always forget to put the fan connectors in squish them in there align them even straight in front and push them in there put the cover for this side and we need to put the battery in there I'm going to put the battery right now, so I'm going to align it in front of the jack, put it in there, and make sure the screw holes match. And I can go ahead and put the screw for the battery, and I'll put the one under the NVMe. Grab your storage, in a 45 degree angle, put it there, put the tiny screw at the back. The heat spreader, put it on top. There are three screws for this side and three screws for the other side. I will power on the laptop so you guys can see it does power on with no problem. And at the end of the video. There should be four screws on this one, but I'm missing one. I don't know if somebody didn't remove it, but there's a screw missing in here. I don't know. I have to look back in my videos, but I'm pretty sure I only removed three screws in here with one missing. All right. So we have those ready. Everything is ready, set to go. You're going to grab the bottom cover. You're going to bring it from the back side first. Push it down this time, make sure you those nice big click sounds, and then start putting up the bottom screws. You put the longer screws at the back corner first. And these are Phillips number one. And put the two back middle and on the sides. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helps you guys to do your own service and cleaning for your Lenovo Gaming Legion 5 laptop. If you have any questions or requests, always feel free to leave them in a video comment. Or I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Just gonna finish up putting on the bottom screws and I will power on the laptop. All right, let's fill it. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them and it will go to its place. So let's go ahead and power on, and we're going to press F10 or F2, F1 to go to the BIOS. Because we removed the main battery, so it's going to take a few restarts before it just boots up to anything. So there we go. Legion Ryzen 5 5600H is an NVRTX 3050 Ti GPU. So there is the data. And the information is in here, Legion 515 ACH6. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.